Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Just defeated Mom's Heart for the seventh time in my last run, all seven runs of which are available on YouTube. Amazingly enough, no off-camera success. So, again, I've beaten it with all four characters, so let's just choose a random character. I'm just gonna hammer away at the right key right now, hit the space bar, and... Kane again. Nah, let's switch it up. Here we go. Right, 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 right. Stop! Maggie! Alright, that's it's been a while since I had a Maggie run. Something like, uh, I don't know, five or six videos now. That's okay, because I had that really successful run as Maggie when I actually beat the game. Hey, that's a really good item to get right off the bat. All stats up, so I'll be much, much bigger, like, formidable sized right now. Uh, more damage, more life, lots of good things going on right here. But I need to get more keys if I'm going to make this a successful run, because I can't open any of these doors or any of these chests, which is a goddamn shame, considering there's an awful lot of them at this point in the game. Really, I can't stress enough how important that Magic Mushroom upgrade is right off the bat. So, we'll just keep moving along here. Without any bombs or keys, I'm kind of handcuffed as to, as to where I can go from here. Uh, I guess my only answer is to go directly to the boss room. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I guess 200 cents, since we're talking about the Binding of Isaac. Man, Maggie's damage is pretty substantial already. Oh, I walked into it. Well, at least I have my Yum Heart available. That yet. Yum Heart plus Battery is a great combination for Maggie as well, but let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Come on. There we go. One cent. Fantastic. Well on our way. Uh, thankfully, because of that all stats up upgrade, uh, Maggie is going to be fast enough to get away from Lust. Lust is going to go down pretty easily. Why, oh why, didn't I take the blue pill? Hey, full health. Um, kind of a waste considering the position I was in right there, but oh well. Who was I to know? see who we're fighting first. Ah, we're fighting Famine first. I've mentioned a few times, but I think Famine is actually oh, the hardest, or one of the hardest, uh, Horsemen of the Apocalypse for me to face. Uh, I still feel this way, honestly, uh, because of the way the Grandfather Flies uh, get spawned. Basically, we're just going to get Famine to spawn them and then hopefully kill them like he did right there. And then, even after Famine's uh, horse dies, he still works out pretty well. Like, let's get, There we go. Uh, like, his ability to just shoot us, he shoots pretty damn fast. Yeah, as you can see right there. So I, I still think he is one of the tougher horsemen to fight. Uh, maybe Pestilence is a little bit harder. Uh, obviously, Death is a little bit harder. But that's that's to be, can, like, understood. Let's go down now. We got a Spirit Heart and our first cube of meat. Doing pretty, pretty well as Maggie so far, although we do need to get some bombs at some point so we can actually make some progress, you know, maybe get to the secret room blow up some of these enemies so the game doesn't slow down as much. There we go! Okay, I think we got enough out of the RAM so that we can proceed at 30 or 60 frames per second. Alright, the key! The key was useful there because it's going to allow me to actually go to the item room, which obviously is pretty important, especially as Maggie want to make sure I'm getting everything I possibly can because she starts a little bit handicapped when it comes to damage uh, and speed, actually. Uh, in comparison to you know, the heavy hitters like Kane and uh, who's that other guy? Kane and Judas. But obviously she has her own advantage. She starts with more health, and uh, you know I got even more health right there. So I'm already looking pretty vitality rich at this point. Uh, let's take out these guys. And because of that magic mushroom upgrade, I'm also doing a si pretty sizable amount of damage. And my speed's doing fine too. Now the good thing about Maggie is that because of all the, I'm just gonna fight the boss right away. Because of all the uh, the health I have already, um, I can easily make deals with the devil. So I could potentially trade some of this health that I already have in order to get some increased damage. And that's probably exactly what I'm going to do if I end up in a situation where I can take advantage of making a deal with the devil. So running into Monstro as the second boss is a pretty good draw. Monstro tends to be pretty easy. I very rarely end up taking damage against him or her or it or whatever it is. Uh, but, oh, there it goes. It'll drop some dog food. Excellent. Which gives me even more health. Let's go talk to the devil. What's he got here? He's got that book and that 666. Let's take... Is that the Necronomicon? That's not the Necronomicon. I don't know what that is. Let's take the, the Led Zeppelin symbol here, aka the 666. 666. This will increase our damage. And we'll do a little bit more exploring around this level. Because I also want to make sure that I, if there are bombs, that I get them so I can find the secret rooms. I haven't gotten almost any money so far in this run. So Maggie's gonna be fucking a one-man wrecking crew, or one transsexual or drag queen wrecking crew here with the amount of damage. Fantastic. There's a bomb. Now if I can find some blue rocks, 
I'm, I'm a big fan of using my bombs on blue rocks as opposed to using them on like a chances to find a secret room. But maybe there are no blue rocks to find in this, this level. There are some blue and white pills. Let's use that right away. Balls of steel. Two more spirit hearts. Good fucking lord. If the devil is still in that boss room, I might be able to trade some of these spirit hearts for another upgrade. Playing extremely high risk, extremely high reward so far. And actually, you know, I thought about... Whoa. Pretty quick on the, on the draw there. I thought about trading uh, even more of my hearts for the second upgrade that they have there, whatever that book was. But I like the yum heart, and better safe than sorry when it comes to maintaining your health, right? Not not just uh, in Isaac, but in real life as well. Are there tinted rocks in here? No. Are there tinted rocks in here? It doesn't look like it. So let's go back here and see if maybe this is the boss room down here. I'm willing to spend one bomb to see if this is the boss, or the item. Yeah, excellent. Secret room, of course, is what I meant. Excellent, we got a one-up. Really knocking it out of the park in terms of getting lucky with uh, Maggie's items so far. We got the one-up, the cube of meat, uh, the 666 from the devil, and like two HP upgrades. Let's go down here, not to mention the four spirit hearts. So we're in the caves part one. Everything's coming up Millhouse right now. I will definitely use this bomb right here. Blow up that rock. And we got a chest that I may or may not choose to open right now. Uh, I really want to use my key, my existing key on the item room. Let's go see what we got in here. Oh, absolutely, I will take that for speed and range up. Uh, passive upgrades. Ten times out of ten, I will take in the in the mob trap room. Well, maybe nine times out of ten. What if it's like a if it's a speed up and I don't need to speed up? Then maybe I won't. But even then, I might take it, just because it feels so good to have characters with, like, nearly full stats. Anyway, we've got speed and range up. Oh, how did that hit me? That barely fucking touched me. Luckily, I'm, I'm flush when it comes to health right now. And damage. Maggie's a killing machine. She's got everything. I'm a little, actually a little bit too fast. Funny that I mentioned that unneeded speed up thing. Two shots to take those guys down. Excellent. Let's continue. Hopefully finding some keys in the near future. Or I'm going to be in a kind of a difficult situation. Not difficult, but just I won't be able to get what I want to get. Like, I want to get this chest and I want to get to the item room. But I guess maybe Veruca Salt can't always get what she wants. But certainly, a wise man told me that you can try sometimes. And you just might find that you get gonorrhea. Uh, okay. These guys are going to be pretty easy. I'm honestly already feeling overpowered on this run. Uh, I think we're, we're, we're looking pretty damn good. Another spirit heart. As if I needed it. Two hits on each of these guys. Uh, three hits, okay. These guys are a little bit stronger then. Take them out. More pills, let's just use those right away. Bad gas, alright. Could be worse, obviously. Ah, Fistula should die. Uh, unbelievably fast. One of the weaker bosses. Uh, and obviously the only way they can get you is with those silkworms. But that's not going to be a problem. Uh, before we fight the boss, we might as well go to the item room, just in case it's an HP up and I end up wanting to trade with the devil. Things I never thought I'd say in real life. Uh, so we got the Rosary, which just gives us two more spirit hearts. Uh, this, there's another passive ability of the Rosary, which, which is that there will be a Bible in every room after this room. I'm sorry, every item room after this room. You know what, let's use a bomb to get to this guy. Possible if we give him some money, he might end up giving us a key and we can get to that treasure chest that was available before. Or maybe he'll just give us a compass. Still, really good set of items I'm pulling off this guy right here. If I could get through here, thank you. Let's again, examine uh, this entire level because I really want to make sure I get that key. Look at that row of hearts. Not to mention the one-up that goes along with it. Good lord. Uh, this could be a, a record-breaking run for Maggie. Let's put it that way. And there's a key, exactly what I wanted. Things are going really, really well over the course of this video so far. I'm amazed. But also, it's real. I feel like I deserve it. Put in my hours in this game. What we got here? Another key. Fantastic. So, we'll go open that chest. I don't really think I want to go open the shop right now because I only have two cents, but we'll definitely open the chest. What we got here? Wooden spoon. Even more speed up. Um, I'm a little bit too fast now, but hey, whatever. It's going to make it easy for me to get away, and if, I can, if we can advance my Twitch gameplay abilities a little bit, then we'll be okay. I can't find the secret room because I don't have any bombs, but we will go on to fight Peep. And it is not a champion Peep, it's just a regular Peep. So uh, I kind of feel like 
I'm gonna be totally fine against. I defeated that champion peep in the last video and went on to defeat Mom's Heart as well. I'm actually like revising my kind of tier list of the uh, of the bosses around this level. I'm pretty sure that Peep is now the hardest one for me, even though it's still relatively simple. I can't remember who I said earlier. Gertie. Gertie is definitely not the hardest one. That was just new player, uh, new player jitters talking. I think Peep is the trickiest, and maybe Chubb is the easiest. Ah, that was a, that was a rough one right there. So we got Coat Hanger, which is going to be Tears Up. That's a really good upgrade. So I'm going to be firing fast and hard on these guys. Already down to the caves part two, ten minutes in. I didn't even look at which direction I was going there. But I kind of feel like Maggie's got it in her to take out whatever whatever force is getting her way. Drop one cent from the champion, that's kind of a rough draw, but you know, I'm getting lucky on everything else. Full health pill, uh, something tells me I'm probably not going to need that for a while. But we'll hold on to it, because you never know when that might be kind of useful. Sorry, buddy. You know, I would if I could, but I can't get over to you. Ooh, I'll wait and see if I get another key before I open that chest. Uh, might as well explore this room before we make our way to the item room. Just in case a key drops in here. In which case, I'll be able to open that chest immediately. Nope, no such luck. Anyway, let's come over here. Slot machine. Might as well play this three times. Knowing my luck, I'll probably get the bill. Yeah, one cent back. That's about one percent of what I, uh, what I had anticipated. Okay, again. This is probably it right here. No whammies. Hey, a pill. What does that pill do? Bad gas. Um, well, I guess we'll use this pill as soon as we can, maybe on the next room. No, nope, did absolutely nothing. Because of my poor aim, not because of the, the pill's inability, obviously. Whoa, did I just take damage? What kind of crazy world is this? I don't know if you guys, even monsters, understand the way that this game works yet. The way it works is Maggie rapes you straight through your sphincter, and you just sit there and take it like a bitch. So let's get our pill back for full health. Who knows, we actually took a half-hearted damage there. Anything could happen. Let's take out this other room full of champions that I don't anticipate is going to be a problem. Again, Maggie's stats through the roof right now. There's a nickel. Not a bad get at all. Why am I going this way? I want to get to the item room as fast as possible. Not the boss room. But there is the boss room right there. Oh, man. So powerful. I, it would be hard for me to imagine a better set of items to have for Maggie right now. Really the only thing I'd, I would love more than this is, a, is an effect on my tears. So either homing tears, or even more preferably something like uh, freezing tears, or um, piercing tears would be fantastic as well. In fact, piercing tears might even be the best. A little bit worse on bosses. Ah, I want you! So what item are we gonna get here? Chocolate milk, charge shots. So, again, I ask for some kind of tear effect, and it is delivered to me. I don't know what kind of god is looking out for me right now. I thought the game was supposed to get harder after you beat it several times. But uh, I'm thinking now we might as well go fight the boss. I mean, I'm right here. I have unbelievable upgrades. It's the easiest boss. What could possibly go wrong? The only thing I could foresee going wrong right now is beating the boss, making a deal with the devil, and getting too greedy and like accidentally killing myself via a deal with the devil. Took some stupid damage there, but again, like it doesn't really matter. Uh, my character is so fucking strong right now. This is maybe the best the best build I've had, at least at this point in the game. Uh, we've got some increased range. That's actually kind of, that's bringing me back down to earth. What does the devil want now? Oh man, do I even need the luck foot? I could trade two hearts for the nail. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue playing high risk, high reward. Remember, the nail gives you two spirit hearts. Now I've only got three health, so i got to be careful. But nail gives you two spirit hearts every time you use it and increases your damage by two. So I might be the first person on Earth who will actually have full damage as Maggie. Might as well use the nail as soon as we walk into this room. Oh, Lord! Did you see the size of that bullet? Jesus Christ! That was unbelievable. That's kind of a tree. Look at that. Like, that room would normally... There was no way I wasn't going to take damage on this room if I had any other loadout than this. This is beautiful. This is a thing of wonder. Now I need to get 15 cents so I can go to the shop and buy a battery. That's the only thing I'm missing right now. Could open the shop right now, but I don't want to. Okay. Uh, well, and piercing shots. 
piercing shots. But the ability to charge the nail even... Oh, ah! Okay. Again, I got a little cocky there. Gotta be careful with these spirit hearts, because I gotta keep those. And stack them, if at all possible. Because I don't have a lot of uh, regular health. There we go, there's one down. Two down. Can you hear me hammering away at the, the left arrow key right now? Uh, another key, fantastic. Let's fight whatever this is. Sloth, I'm figuring, you know, I might as well fight it because it's gonna go down near instantly and drop some shit for me. Justice, so this will give me keys and bombs as well as some other stuff. Oh, didn't think it was gonna give me a live bomb. What pill is that? Full health, uh, of course, I remember now. So having explored this entire floor, let's go back up to the dramatic pause. Mob trap room, where I will open up this chest and see what the heck they got in store for me there. More keys, bombs, lots of money. I did take some damage though. That's okay. And this is gonna be enough money for me to actually go check out the shop and possibly be able to even buy a battery. Which would just be fucking game breaking at this point. I think I would have spirits heart spirit hearts coming out of my goddamn anus. But again, it was high risk. I've traded four hearts to the devil already. So it's it's not like I don't... It's not like I've gotten 100% lucky. I have put some, uh, you know, put some risk into it as well. I'm relying on my own skill. I'm taking more damage than I should be taking right now. But again, that spirit heart is going to make it possible for me... Or sorry, that nail is going to make it possible for me to just... Uh, use that spirit heart, or get more spirit hearts. Sorry, I'm just distracted by the orgasmic nature of the game right now. What do we got going on here? No battery. Mom's pad. And we're gonna save our money. Mom's pad is definitely not an upgrade to the nail. Pretty much just looking for a battery or a ladder at this point. Uh, you know what? But let's go talk to our little friend in here. And I will use two bombs getting to him. Might seem like a bad decision, and I could be trying to find the secret room. Oh, blew him up by accident. And to get a, all to get a bad gas pill. Well, that was a waste of two bombs. My mistake. <laughs> and having no idea where the secret room is at this point, we're going to play the slot machine twice and then get the heck out of here. Or three times, perhaps. Until I get down to 15 cents. And what pill is this? Bad gas again. Who cares? Give me the full health pill. Alright, get the pill, but don't touch the slot machine. Harder to do than you would expect, considering, uh... How fast my speed is right now. Definitely don't need that heart. Let's come down here, down here, and we'll just immediately drop down into the depths part one. Use the nail on our first room here. Took some damage, but uh, I'm also dealing damage in return. Still had a net positive outcome from that. Look at this. My lord. Is that a bullet or is that a bullet? And we got leapers. For once, you know. I think they're more scared of me than I am of them. But, ah, maybe not. <laughs> Having charge shots is not necessarily an advantage against leapers because they're so hard to hit. But if you do hit them, obviously they go down. There's a bomb there that I can't really use. Let's come up here. Ah, this room I have a feeling is going to be pretty darn easy. Yes. So there's a bomb there, but I have to use the blood bank to get it. I'm sure, yeah, well, let's just do it. Fantastic. I'm sure I'll be able to pick up a heart at some point. Surprisingly, did not take damage right there. We'll see what's going on in the item room here. Ah, uh, Book of Sin. Again, not worth giving up the nail for. But we will use it one time. So I just basically used a key to get an item. And the item was half a heart. Well, I suppose I didn't need that. So where should we go from here? I guess we want to go to the shop next. Luckily, right in our general area. Come down here. Take out these guts, which should be quick. Very quick, in fact. If I could just manage to hit them with some charge shots. But with they keep chocolate milk keeps exploding off of the uh, the rocks. Oh, that was good. Hard I don't need. Oh, I have no keys to get to the shop. All right, we'll have to we'll have to fight some enemies. One fully charged shot takes out these blood knees. We'll use our nail on this room. Oh man. One fully charged shot took out half of Gluttony's health. 
remarkable. With the nail on, of course. Let's go check up here. I need to get a key somewhere. I'm thinking maybe the mob trap room is going to be a good location for that. Well, can't get to that guy right now. I suppose I could, but I don't want to get to that guy. He did me wrong last time. Two fetuses down already. Three fetuses down. Four fetuses down. Just hoppers, not even leapers. Don't foresee this being too much of a problem. But, you know, I, I've been wrong before. I should stop getting cocky. I'll see hubris. This could be my, my downfall here. A poetic flaw, if you will. I should say, if you, if you took grade 10 English class. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on. Fucking zombies, man. Hope I never have to say that one in real life. That'll mean that society's already too far gone. There we go. One shot to the head. Nice. So apparently these guys have AI. And if you hit them uh, in the face, preferably, it actually freezes their AI. So the secret to those zombie guys is actually to hit them once, and then they will just run straight into a wall. And then you can start doing things to them. So what do we have here? What is that book? It's not the Bible. I don't know what that book is. I don't want to give up the nail, though. I'll just pick up these pills for five cents. Well, I'll use them right away. Oh, no! <laughs> well, okay. Don't accidentally... Gotta pick up this pill without accidentally walking into that book. That might be the Bible, actually. I could be totally uh, way off base. Let's go up through here. Do some more exploring. Nail is uh, getting close to being recharged. Whoa! I will definitely, definitely use a bomb here. Unlocks a spirit heart. And I'll use another bomb. Here. And get to this chest. Contains mom's underwear for some range up. Well, you know what? That's not so bad. Trading, uh. Trading keys and bombs for a passive but permanent upgrade. I've definitely made worse decisions over the course of this Let's Play. I don't think anyone would argue that. What's more valuable, bombs or keys? Ooh, well, there's a. Uh, special rock here, so I'll try to get everything. I did. I got key, two keys out of it. Well, definitely. I would prefer two keys to a single bomb. Oh, that's bad for you, man. Yeah. Coming up pretty close to the boss room, and look at the health I have. Good lord. It, it's actually gone up. And it will go up again pretty shortly in a, in a few rooms when I defeat that, uh, or when I get the nail back. And I have that full health card, and that, or full health pill, I should say, and, and on top of all of that, I have a one-up as well. So leapers, do your worst. Good lord. No bombs, unfortunately, to get to that treasure chest, but maybe I'll get something in here. Oh, I'm so scared of the freaking leapers. Oh, these are my least favorite enemy. How will I ever survive? Freaking leapers. Oh, I lost half a spirit heart. No problems whatsoever. And the nail's ready. All ready for this fight against the next boss, who is... Loki, who I have not fought in a long time, actually. But I don't foresee him being too much of a problem, seeing as my charge shots are doing, like, a thousand percent damage to him. And his own bomb flies may end up being the death of him. I'll just watch out for the spike. Wow, that was fast. Or maybe that was the first time I fought Loki, because I got a new item in the basement. And an HP up, as if it was even required. And I guess we will just go down to the next floor. Uh, might as well. What a scary looking motherfucker that Maggie is. So we got Loki's horns as well. Uh, sorry, I should say Loki's horns is an achievement we just unlocked. Or I just unlocked. You guys didn't have that much to do with it. No offense. But uh, yeah, it's definitely another achievement off screen for defeating Loki, maybe. I don't know if that was the... One shot from default Maggie. Enough to kill Larry Jr. One, a fully charged shot, obviously. Still, good lord. This is the most OP run I've had, undoubtedly. Alright, zombie guys. Tough, tough sell here. Uh, I thought I could get out of there without getting hit. Whoa, lucky shot. That's good, we get the nickel. And since this is the last room, or the last floor with an item room, I would love to get a battery. That would just make, that would make my dreams come true right now. The battery in conjunction with the nail would make me an unstoppable powerhouse. Even more so than I already am. Oh, good god, it's almost not even a not even fun anymore. What do we got in this chest? Don't do me wrong. What do the pills do? 
Turn me retarded. It's all right. Nothing can stop me at this point. Not even mental retardation. So let's murder these guys nearly instantly. Again, this is the one time that piercing shots would be a huge advantage for me. Or like a discernible advantage over the items I already have. Let's fire away. Kill the poop. Kill the human popcorn. And that'll be the end of that. Another key. Fantastic. Use our nail on this next room. Because why not? I don't even know how much health I have right now. That's that's the situation that we've gotten into. Because it's like my health is off screen. And that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Yet another bomb. Hopefully we have enough... Uh, is this the depth too? Yeah, well, we're going to fight Mom here in just a minute. But hopefully... Uh, I get a chance to recharge my nail. Well, you know what? If I don't get a naturally get a chance to recharge my nail, I will, I will do it anyway. I'll figure it out. Apparently, you can kill these guys. They just take a lot of damage. Oh, come on. Get in here. Well, maybe I'll just walk into you. Hey, 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 hey. Again, I took like three hits there. Didn't damage me at all. Uh, so what do we got here? Could use a key to get to that half heart. I don't think that's going to be necessary. We got the relic, so the relic drops the spirit heart every four rooms, believe it or not. So, uh, should have no shortage of health. I get two spirit hearts every six rooms, and one spirit heart every four rooms. Let's go back here. Might as well, uh, I should definitely not just go fight mom, because I want to get to the shop. Because if I could get a battery, uh, I might have enough hearts to actually break the game. I don't know if that's possible. That might be prophetic of me. To suggest that that is possible. And if my game crashes, I will storm the headquarters of wherever Edmund McMillan lives. And shake his hand for making a beautiful game. Oh, what did you think I was going to say? Now, something violent. I hope not. Uh, da, da, da. Kind of a... Well, actually, the first time in this video, I almost said, kind of a tricky room. But it's really not. Um, it just actually requires me to dodge for the first time in a long time. This last little fistula here. Accidentally spent a bomb. I doubt that'll come back to bite me in the ass. Oh, leapers. How will I ever contend? One of them killed himself. And I took care of the other one. Let's go check out the shop. Oh, well, I guess I will buy piercing shots. Because why the hell not? What's this tarot card? Wheel of Fortune. Spawn the slot machine. Let's blow it up. Almost took damage myself there. And we got another full health pill. Just in case that one wasn't enough. I don't think I need anything else in here. Obviously, I could go uh, exploring. I don't think that's going to be necessary. So now that I have piercing shots, um, there is almost no way, I believe, that I could die. I, I think I will... Oh, you know what? I do have to explore one more room because I want to get the nail for fighting mom. But uh, I know I'm getting cocky here, but I feel there's good reason for me getting cocky. This is... It's not through my own skill. Or I should say very little of it is through my own skill. I've gotten unbelievably lucky with the drops. And you know, that's that's the name of the game sometimes. Sometimes you are just going to get lucky with drops. Sometimes you're going to get unlucky. And I've made both kinds of runs work. But this one is certainly in a class of its own when it comes to getting lucky. It's, it's almost like getting lucky in real life. Okay, so we're going to go fight the mom now. And uh, should we make it out of that fight alive? Snicker. Uh, we will progress to the womb, where things might get a little bit more interesting. So, obviously, we'll use the nail right away. One hit took out, like, 10% of Mom's health. Wow. Oh, what, do you think you're gonna hurt me? Oh, there's the foot. Oh, I'm so scared. This is a fucking joke. One more footfall. Oh, well, one more something. Wow. Unlocks something sticky in the depths. That looks like Gish right there. So, what do we got here? Well, another HP upgrade. And let's go down to the next floor. So, Maggie is essentially the baddest of asses that I've ever seen. Um, all of these enemies should be no fucking problem. The one exception being if I get hit by my own bullets that guy up there. Now, how am I going to make sure that he gets hit? Oh, oh, there we go. Just walk him onto the spikes. 
People have been suggesting that in the comments for a long time. Like, high time I took them up on that. Fair trade there. Get into the boss pretty quick. Okay. Oh no, I got hit once by Chubb. I'm real scared. This is a, a... Like, I mean it in the best possible way. I'm still having a lot of fun. But this is a joke. Like, this is a... A power build whose power I could not even possibly imagine before I actually played it myself. So what do we got going on in this room? Oh, two of these sisters, two of these jumpers. Should be a real fucking problem. They found the secret room for me. Thanks a lot, guys. This run is the definition of everything's coming up Millhouse. More money that I probably won't even get a chance to use. I've got, I've got the compass so I can immediately find the boss rooms. Piercing shots so I can hit multiple enemies at once. Charge shots. An item that gives me spirit hearts every four rooms. An item that gives me two spirit hearts every six rooms. Oh, man. Like, look at this. Like, I get a hit. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even enter into my equation. That's how overpowered I am right now. As Maggie, the least overpowered character in the game, at least in my opinion. Uh, up until a couple days ago, I actually thought Maggie was, like, by far the worst character in the game. I'm getting luckier runs than I did as Kane here. Might as well use... Uh, might as well use that here. Get down here. Yep. Press the bomb key by accident, as I want to do sometimes. That was hard. It'll turn retarded again, why not? What do we got here? More bombs. And some more pills. Very nearly at the boss already. Oh, wow. I actually did not see that coming. First time I've genuinely been surprised in a while. Oh, no. You see that? I've, I'm, I might almost be back to only my on-screen health. You're dead. You're dead, and soon you will also be dead. How does that feel? It's another spirit hard for me. Because I did take a lot of damage in that room. I was getting pretty close. Don't know if you guys saw that. I was getting a little worried. Uh, a little worried that I might actually have less than 12 health soon. Remember when these rooms used to be a challenge? And they will be again. But for now, okay. Jokey McJokerson's. Um, normally I guess I would wait for my nail to be recharged, but honestly not too scared about fighting death here. I think I'm going to be okay. A lot of sights on the screen. Oh no. Can you, can you see the fear in my voice? I hear the fear in my voice. Wow, how am I going to get out of the way of this one, death? You're really sticking it to me, buddy. Wow. So difficult. So we'll just wait. I guess we have to kill Death's uh, horse thing. There we go. That was easy. Gives us another cube of meat. Dare we make Maggie even more overpowered by checking out something that's in this boss room? Well, I absolutely do not need that quarter. Let's sign this deal with the devil. Gives us even more damage. Uh, I can't possibly fathom what kinds of hell we will be wreaking on the enemies we come across. So going down here into the womb part too, looks like the boss is a great distance away. You know what? I don't think that's a serious problem. This gives me more time to get even more nail upgrades. Might as well use there. Got a spirit art. Uh, I shouldn't. I should have used the nail on this room, I suppose. But I think I might already be at max damage by default. So uh, not overly concerned. I got three spirit hearts in that last room. It didn't get hit at all. Oh wow, you almost got me there, Diglett. Oh, that actually did get me there. Amazing, never thought I'd get touched again. A chest within a chest, containing a, another damage up power up. Oh lord, I'm so sorry, Larry Jr. You, you never stood a chance, my young son. Uh, we're about to fight the boss. Oh, oh, Loki. Yeah, didn't I just kill you like a minute ago? Real fucking scared. There you go. Oh, oh, and a single fly. I'm worried. Well, and another spirit heart. Guess we'll go fight Mom's heart now. I'm not even using my, uh... My, inc my nail on Mom's heart right now. Keep in mind that even if, like, beyond all comprehension, this fight goes poorly, I still have the spirit, or I still have the one up. So, like, I. It's impossible. I, I cannot not win this fight. It's outside of the realm of possibility. 
it would be like a universe imploding event. Look at that, it's almost already completely dead. It's like two more seconds and this thing's gonna be over. I don't even have to dodge. That was beautiful. This is a 35 minute run. Let's open the chest to get our ending. Alright, so I guess we unlocked some sweet sunglasses. Money power. Uh, money equals power, sorry. Which also is just the name of the achievement that I just unlocked. So, you have just witnessed what is pretty much the most perfect run of The Binding of Isaac that I could possibly imagine. Uh, I don't need to recount the ways in which I was unbelievably overpowered, but that was fantastic! I'm excited for this run to go up in a few days so you guys can see it and comment on it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time with another Binding of Isaac video. Reminder, we have eight of the endings here, so we're almost, almost all the way to the real end of the game. But probably not the real end of the Let's Play. I'm having so much fun doing these videos. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time with another great Isaac video.